Well, hello guys, this is just a quick review of a knife sharpener. And I'll tell you why I bought one. It's because, you know, you buy these knives and they come really nice and sharp and they can cut your fingers off. And then they go kind of blunt. And you go, well, do I buy more knives for more expense or do I just sharpen these ones? So I decided to go the cheaper route and buy a sharpener. And I'll tell you what I bought. It's called Chapelle. There it is. Not as big as I thought. Now this was just 12 pounds. So uh, not supposed to be that great. And you put it on here like so. And there's a suction cup on the bottom. And you do this. And it's supposed to suck and stay there. But I've heard over time it lifts off. So anyway, this is just a kind of a cheaper one anyway. But I'll be honest, I wasn't too enthralled with it at all. But this is what you do, you get a knife. And here you have three slots. These are for scissors. This is for sort of your knife to sharpen it quite coarsely. And this is the one to smooth it off and you place the knife in there like so and you just throw it back like this right and you just see if it's sharp and then you do it again and be honest with you I've already done these knives to test it out and it takes quite a while and I'm a lot of times pulling it through and you smooth it off and there you have a sharp knife or sharpish okay but there's a lot of work involved right now let me try and show you a knife that you can't do in here this one this is a bread knife okay serrated and it's only sharp on one side and smooth on the other this unit doesn't do that type of knife it only does ones that sharp on both sides and there's no way it works in there so you either find a sharpener that actually does these knives or buy a new bread knife. So it seems to be an awful lot of work. Now it does scissors. So let me show you how they do scissors. And I've already done these ones. You have to find the flat edge on the scissors on this side. And then you put that on at an angle like so. And then drag it like this. and you do that quite a number of times and then it says if you get a sort of a fat edge there you just open and close the scissors like this right it does work to a point but they're not very good I would prefer maybe an electrical one that you could just sit it in there and it will do it but like I say it was only 12 pounds but I wasn't that impressed by this at all um, it is quite a cheap unit and I'd imagine these things wouldn't last too long at all. Alright, so it's made my knife set, which is Morphe Richards, they're good ones you know, and um, live a little bit longer, but I shall probably end up buying a new set, at least a new bread knife, so I can cut my bread instead of bouncing all over the place. And let me put this away. What do you think of my expensive worktop? Nice, eh? Then you take this off, and then you put it into the drawer where it's probably going to stay for a very long time anyway that's Sharple yeah you want something good maybe get a pummy stone that would probably just be as easy and just as much work maybe but a better result but yeah not that impressed with Sharple anyway that's my review that's all bye bye